made it a storm. Like they're calling it the Gadar effect and Gadar tsunami and all, and it's all thanks to our fans, and of course the love for Tara and Sakina. They had lived with us in their hearts since 22 years. Gadar was a film so close to us also because of the reruns on television. The Gadar film nahi ek emotion hai. Cool. You know, and I think Gadar two has uh, taken that emotion forward. By the grace of God, Sakina is inbuilt in me because I love her. I've lived with her for 24 years now. She is my favorite character. Their apprehensions for playing a mother. Everyone kept saying, "Arey, you're going to play a mother so early in your career and all," and I'm like, "Gadar deserves it, only for Gadar." Hi guys, this is Amisha Patel, your very own Sakina, and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Hi guys, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. My name is Urmin. Gadar two, Gadar two, Gadar two. My God, this film has proved that we have all our houses are wrong because time is not running. Clearly, we are not in 2023 because it cannot happen. That that Sakina, whom we love very much, is the same. Like Amisha Patel. Hi. <laughs> Hi, and thank you for such a warm and amazing compliment. It's very sweet of you to say that, Amisha. I am definitely not going to ask you what your age is because uh, I'm pretty sure that you will be three or four years older than me. I'm 21. Oh, I love it. I love it. But uh, tell us, Amisha, how are you finding this overwhelming response? I'm very, very grateful to God uh, that the audiences have given us this love, and uh, you know, I think just. Made it a storm, like they're calling it the Gadar effect and Gadar tsunami and all, and it's all thanks to our fans, and of course the love for Tara and Sakina, which we knew they had from part one, but it just goes to show that they had lived with us in their hearts since 22 years, and that's the most encouraging and beautiful feeling for any actor to have that you've been so loved that even after 22 years, when you come back. With the same character, which has never happened in the history of Indian cinema, people still give you that same love and appreciation. So it's very, very overwhelming, actually. And it's a whole generation jump also, also yes. that has experienced it. So you know, we can actually tell the younger generation that we went and saw the film, and this was Lagan and Gadar, who one year released it, and both of them were so loved. And then there is, you know, this this uh, uh, dialogue, there are scenes. In in fact, it was a film that. Just didn't celebrate love. It celebrated the country. It celebrated great music. Yeah, it was everything in one. They had, we had comedy. We had patriotism. We also gave the message. Yeah, that all religions are the same, and we can live together in harmony. Correct. I mean, what bigger example than a Sakina who who prays uh, to Allah, to does a namaz, and then she's still living with a Sikh. You know, and I don't think there is a more a bigger film that can speak of being harmonious and living in and being tolerant to each other, and living with love and unity. And I think that's the biggest take from Gadar that love crosses all borders, love surpasses and transcends religion and race, and that is the beauty of pure love. You know? So we are talking about 22 years of Gadar. Yes. कब आपको ये कॉल आया था दैट वी मेकिंग अ पार्ट टू सो समवेयर इन 2018 एंड 19 बातें तो चल रही थी स्क्रिप्ट वाज नॉट इन प्लेस फिर फोन कॉल 2019 में जब आया दैट वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन 2020 कोविड हैपेंड सो वर्क फर्दर हैड स्टॉप्ड एंड देन सडनली इन 2021 एवरीथिंग वाज रिवाइव्ड And uh, but the, it was in the works for a couple of years, but there was a lot of unsurety. Hmm. Ki hoga, nahi hoga, kaise hoga, and then COVID came and changed all kinds of calculations. Correct. So then I think Sunny and me, uh, I don't even believe that we, you know, we, I don't think we believe that this film of this scale would even take place because I think uh, the film industry was suffering the most. Right. So we were bleeding, yeah. And to go there and attempt making a film of this scale was, uh, you know, not knowing whether audiences will ever return to the cinemas, was a risk in itself. Forget the fact that whether they accept a part two mm. after an iconic part one, you know, that fear is separate. 
that whether you're going to ruin the legacy or are you going to live up to it or surpass it. These thousands of thoughts go through your head, but then with Bollywood and I mean the country over going through cinema, whether it was Hollywood or here, cinema saw the worst. Yeah. You know, it took the worst beating. So But definitely this film proves that the love for cinema is just so pure and honest. Enough. If you make a good film like I you know, many people I must tell you this that when Gadar was under production, Gadar two. Uh, like they had written off Gadar 1, they had written off Gadar 2 as well. Hmm. Like there's too much similarity that happens with the brand <laughs> Gadar. And they were like, now where will people go? You know, that era of cinema is gone. Uh, people are happy to be at home and watch OTT for free, you yeah. know, at their own time and space and stop and pause and return to the film in two days, as, you know, hmm. time permits, depending on their convenience. So... Okay, y'all will maybe get a few people going because the love for Tara and Sakina is so much that they'll want to know what Tara and Sakina ke life mein ab kya hota hai. Hmm. But wo jo gadar ne kiya, wo to aap chodi do khab. You know, people within the industry and outside it, friends Achha. and family alike told me this. So, and I know that a lot of people had doubts and stuff and uh, but the most important thing is for everyone involved in a a filmmaking process to do it with all your heart and that's soul true. because that's when bade parde pe wo dikhta hai mehnat and you know lagan yeah. and i guess that's what's happened so and we are all of that age where gadar was a film so close to us also because of the reruns on television yes itne reruns rahe hain aur har baar logon ne baith ke dekha hai har baar jab rerun aate hai to it's the highest trp <laughs> you know and i get people telling me that whenever gadar comes we watch it I get people telling me that we are when we are depressed and we want a mood lift, we turn on whether either on Z5 on the OTT yeah. or on a DVD. Uh, I really get these that jabi bhi mood banana ho, we watch gather. You know, and jabi bhi you want to feel good about life, we watch gather. So it's such a sentiment ki like I never believe when people say gather film nahi ek emotion hai. Cool. You know, and I think gather too has uh, ex- taken that emotion forward. By the grace of God. You know. kitri bar film dekhi wapis to get back into the role of Sakina? Never with the intention of getting back to the role of Sakina. I used to just watch it with friends who are always interested in watching it. Uh, numerous times when it came on television, you know, or I'm on an outdoor or at work and sitting in a hotel room watching mm-hmm. it. In fact, when I signed Gadar 2, I never watched it only. I never referred back to it. Because Sakina is inbuilt in me. You know, I don't have to do much to bring out Sakina because I love her. I've lived with her for 24 years now. She is my favorite character. And uh, are you asking me, was I nervous going on set to play her after so long? I was nervous as hell. Were there apprehensions for playing a mother? They weren't the first time around. For Gadar, there can never be apprehensions. Correct. You know, because it's totally justified. Yeah. Uh, the first time round, when I was still new and Kahona Pyare had not released, and in all my numerous films with Ajay, Salman, even my second film with Ritik, which were all being shot parallel together, Kahona Pyare hadn't released. Hmm. I was a college student in all. And everyone kept saying, Are you're going to play a mother so early in your career and all. And I'm like, Gadar deserves it. Only for Gadar. Because uh, I think the beauty is there of the character so much. Yeah. And she's a beautiful, dignified, pious character. And I didn't want to let go of Sakina. <laughs> so but, I took the plunge. But I think it was such a perfect choice because no one can play Madam Ji like you. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. The, the way Tara Singh says Madam Ji, you know, you look like that Madam Ji. Jisko sar par, matlab, aise bitha, pe bitha ke. Pe bitha hai. And he's, he does that uh, in part two as well and in real life also. <laughs> he's as much of a gentleman. And I think he realizes I'm this little delicate, you know, fragile. He keeps me like a flower. And Sunny himself is so elegant and, mm. and soft-spoken in real life that he's not far from being Tara in real life, you know. And he'll always come to your rescue. Like in Gadar 2, when we were shooting, I felt very sick in Palampur in the first outdoor. And I was vomiting non-stop all night and almost needed to be hospitalized. And it was Tara Singh who came from his, uh, uh, you know, villa to mine and got his blood pressure machine and took my blood pressure and called the doctor in Bombay. Uh, he was not wanting the local doctors there to give me any medication or injection that would not suit me. Hmm. So he cross-checked with my own doctor in Bombay and he was my real-life Tara even then. 
did it feel like coming back to home because aapke sets par jab urja kale ye gana bhi aata hai deewaron par there are photos of you know the film the, the film that we saw in 2001 hmm. how was it for you to to relive those memories surreal <laughs> you just felt i felt i had come from the set of gadar one and just stepped on to it and there was no difference time had frozen bata rahi hu ghadi sab ki kharab kar di hai anil sharma ji ne and the best was that i posted a picture of sunny and me in conversation a very cute picture where he's looking at my shoe and we're having some silly conversation as usual and uh, it was a first day of shoot it was a horrid shot and i posted on instagram and twitter and all the social media and my producers z studio started getting calls ki aapki heroine ne purane gadar ki tasveer kyu laga di <laughs> and they were like no this is them currently and people were like no way 20 years later they no way they look exactly the same and the chemistry is intact so which was very encouraging to begin your schedule like that knowing that a picture has you know garnered so much interest and love hmm. so it was very hard me amisha do you remember the time jab aapko ye role offer kiya gaya tha what made you say yes so actually mr nitin kenny who was the executive producer for z had uh, i had no clue that a project like gadar was in the works or anything like that he was uh, casually flipping through a magazine i don't remember whether it was stardust film fair cine blitz but there were combined pictures of me and rithik hmm. and i was in a very western attire short skirt and you know that the total college attire will be thrithic hmm. and he was flipping through it and he stopped and he said this girl looks like she can be our sakina so my secretary got a call and i was asked to come meet with mr nitin kenny at the z office and he gave me a briefing about the film and the character and he said it's challenging because you're a kid and you've got to play a mother of a kid so um, but i fell in love with the film I fell in love with the character of Sakina. I thought that Tara Singh and Sakina's love story is one of the most unique and beautiful love stories uh, that Indian cinema has ever seen. And um, I just had a few reservations when I asked him. I said, "You know, do you think I'll be able to pull it off? Because I've not even completed Kawana Pyar Hai, and in every film that I'm currently doing." whether it's with ajay devgan whether it's with salman khan i'm a student hmm. so you know i i will need to work very hard to make myself a mother but for gadar i will do it i'll take up the challenge i hope i don't let you down and he was like nahi hame hamari sakina mil gayi bas mehnat aap jano aur aap karo but hame sakina mil gayi and that's the very part but for them to have that confidence yes, in yeah. you and i was not a, i was not even a film old yeah so i think nitin ji's vision he was a great visionary it was z's first film to pass a project like this you know as your first film as a production house was a risk in itself and i think he was a pioneer he was a visionary and it was his vision that took this film through because he was very bang on in his creatives he is responsible for the music as well getting in key people key locations he was a huge hand in the creativity and even the casting and that's why you have all the loved characters that you see in the film do you remember your first shot that you yes did? my first shot you won't believe uh, was the pakistan portions not the college portions oh. where i've already been kidnapped by my own <laughs> father and not being allowed to return to india and it was the scene with amrish ji where he says wo jat yahan aayega itne tukde kar dunga and i tell him theek hai abu jaan hum phone bhi nahi karenge khat bhi nahi likhenge ab hum sirf unka intezar karenge intezar those were my first few dialogues for gadar so i had to go and fast forward the, my journey as sakina to reach that point in my head that how should i be which was by no means an easy task and then you have a stalwart of an actor like amrish ji in front of you so i was actually shivering <laughs> but um, everyone was so cooperative and encouraging and um, you know all supportive that sakina managed to pull through and sakina worked very hard too <laughs> you know before the film so but are you also getting these uh, these questions ki why are we seeing so much of less of you know tara singh and sakina yes. uh, is there uh, a lot of meat left for gadar 3 probably 
so this was the first time i think sunny and me i think decided that if a sequel has to be made we need to be selfless and let it uh, let someone also have another key role uh, because sakina going back to pakistan wouldn't have made sense we didn't want people saying that fir se wohi kahani correct see that could have also backfired on us yeah so we had to take a new direction hmm. and uh, for an actor of sunny's grade to say that it's okay let sakina rule the hearts in the first half of the film and i'll take over in the second half even if it means there's less of us together yeah as much as the audience would have wanted more was a risk in itself of course but uh, we had faith in the subject right. you know that we needed to give our audiences something different and uh, i think anil sharma was very smart in knowing that uh, utkash's first film had not worked you know genius was a washout and i think he was a very sensible father to uh, put him under the umbrella of tara and sakina mm-hmm. to play a good pivotal role right. like he did in gadar one and i was responsible for bringing him in in gadar one i was the one who said you know uh, to anil ji that your son is so cute why are you screen testing 500 boys use him only wow yeah so i brought the son into the picture but so like i was selfless then i and sunny had to be selfless now and think of the script in totality uh, yes um, people have missed tara and sakina tremendously and have wanted more and that's a very heartening feeling <laughs> when you have missed both of them so Uh, if agar three ever were to be made i'm sure the audience's first demand would be more of tara sakina <laughs> this time around uh, but, but it says a lot uh, as actors for y'all also you know like yeah. you just said that y'all wanted to be just selfless and y'all made sure it wasn't just about the two of y'all and you're right us film ne itna kuch kar diya tha hamare dil mein ek khaas jagah basa di thi that you know uske sath phir se chhedna was in any case a risk a, a risk yeah Hi guys this is Amisha Patel your very own Sakina and you're watching Bollywood Hangama